All right, I've got it. I got it. Oh, thank you. All right. I got it. You did great. You did really great. Are you okay? (laughs) I'm Jason Miller, a full-time professional flight instructor. On the Finer Points channel, you can join me as I bring you tips and tricks that I've learned from 20 years on the flight line. Hello aviators, welcome back. So you guys, I recently got this cool video from a dude named Eric who has a channel, a YouTube channel called SoCal Flying Monkey. Do you guys know Eric? Hey Jason, I'm Eric Hayes, an instrument rated private pilot based in Los Angeles. And I'm a huge fan of your podcast and YouTube channel. Anyway, it's an awesome channel. If you don't know it, you should definitely go check it out and subscribe. But Eric's idea was that we would do a little bit of flight training and a, and a collaboration uh, in which I would teach his wife, Ginny, who goes by Poppins on the channel, how to land the airplane in the event something happens to Eric while they're flying. Flying with family got me thinking, what if something happens to me in flight? I've heard of pilot spouses taking pinch hitter courses before, and I think this might be useful for her. A really cool instructional challenge. I've never considered this type of course before, but quite honestly, it makes a lot of sense to me because I think of the same thing when I fly with my family. Also, if you guys want to see Ginny's experience here, like actually from her point of view, Eric edited a companion video to this one, which is just awesome. Uh, He's super talented, so definitely go check that out. You can kind of see both videos from her side of the story uh, and also the instructional side here. So huge thanks to Eric for that idea. That was a lot of fun. So I put pen to paper and figured out a course that would work, and those two made plans to fly up to Grass Valley. Um, And I figured at the end of the day, right, at the end of the day, Jenny's going to need to be able to wrestle control of the aircraft as it's, you know, as she realizes that her husband has passed out. She's going to need to be able to control the airplane, contact air traffic control, fly headings to get to a big wide runway somewhere, and then land at an appropriate airspeed. It doesn't have to be a greaser, she doesn't have to do it perfectly, uh, but it's gotta be something that her and the two kids in the back can walk away from. So I thought my way through this instructional program, I jumped on a Zoom call just to meet Eric and Ginny and try to get my head around how this whole thing would work. The idea of taking control is I, I like it, it takes me right back to uh, when he first said what he was going to do. I'm terrified. It took you like, yeah, it took you several years to get comfortable on the plane, actually. I learned that Ginny is terrified of flying. <laughs> so we have a real challenge on our hands here. And um, as we're talking on Zoom, I tried to figure out some common language, some way that I could get through to her and make her feel comfortable and also talk about the airplane in a way that she would understand. And I'm also curious, do you have any horseback riding in your life experience i do i have a quite a bit do you really oh that's so good that's fantastic the horseback riding went a long way with Ginny. turns out she's from texas she rides horses and um, i really was going to leverage that analogy so i went and bought her a copy of stick and rudder if you guys have read that book you know that wolfgang langevay she talks a lot about the gates of the airplane um, and he compares it a lot to riding a horse because there are so many appropriate comparisons there anyway i highlighted all the parts i wanted her to read and i sent it to her hopefully they would do some studying before they arrived but the first challenge that we had was just getting her to understand airflow over the wings and how speed and angle of attack vary to keep that airplane up in the air. I'm gonna take this marker and we're gonna draw a line on the window and I'm just gonna have you sort of just hold the airplane there. Okay. And it will try to like do little things, but mm-hmm. remember the horse analogy, right? right? That's what we're gonna stick with today We're gonna because that really seemed to work when we were yeah. talking on the phone. So yeah. we're gonna stay with that horse analogy. So <clears throat> the trick for you, even if it's just a line on a window, mm-hmm looking outside is going to be to try to notice the little changes Mm -hmm. like so if there are little changes just just see if you can gently get it back on on track okay so i'm just going to ask you to sort of like get get comfy in your seat right like you can see over the panel yeah okay Okay, cool that yeah good can you see that line now let's just do like a little test or something here. Like I'm gonna uh, pitch up just a little bit. So look at your line and just tell me when you see it, see that. Tell me when you see the line going up. Yeah. Oh, good, you can see that. That's really great. That's really subtle. Let's just take it back down. So here's what it looks like if the line starts to go down. Okay. Can you see that? Yes. Awesome, that's great. 
and and it makes sense to you that it's kind of the horizon behind it too right so like you know, the line is really helpful but it's you know try to also cite it against the land behind it because ultimately at the end of the day there won't be a line there right okay cool and then you can see it if the airplane started to kind of go left a little bit you can see that that's what's happening with your line okay. yeah good all right so now i'm going to ask you to sort of take the controls i'm okay. on there with you so don't worry about it good just like that yeah perfect Try to just keep that line right there. Let's see what happens. We'll see if the horse tries to eat grass or anything. But do what you need to. Like, if you see that line go down like that, go ahead and pick it up. Like, see how we just picked it up together? I came on the controls to do it, but we picked it up. Nice. And this is where, when we talked about the airplane being like a horse, for the most part, you don't have to do anything. Just like a horse. For the most part, you're just holding on loosely. And, and the thing is galloping or cantering, in this case, on its own. You see the airplane going to the left a little bit. See if you can bank, pick up that. Nice, perfect. You're flying the airplane. I just want you to know that <laughs> and feel comfortable with that. You're doing great. If you're if you're super nervous, you're you're you know persevering through that well. <laughs> you really are, because I'm noticing all those little like that, those little subtle corrections you're making. Um, that's really the ticket here. This is like, remember when we were talking about, so pick up that right wing just a little bit, go ahead and do what it takes, like the horse is eating grass. There you go, just like that. When we were talking about our completion standard for our first lesson, this was really it. Your ability to just sort of control the airplane here in cruise flight. I know she's terrified, but it turns out Ginny has quite a lot of talent. She's got a natural aptitude for flying and a good feel for the flight controls. Uh, so learn, you know, teaching her to see sight pictures, to kind of visualize the angle of attack as the airplane slows down, um, all of that was coming together quite easily, um, and she was doing really great. So the next step was seeing if she could actually fly headings. I don't want her staring inside the airplane, uh, but I do want her to be able to fly, say, a heading of west or 330 or something like that. Let's try a turn together. We didn't actually talk about this, but we did it here in the plane. So let's just both do it. We can just Come on the controls with one of your hands here. We're going to turn to the right. And so go ahead and drop the right wing a little bit. We're just going to drop it about, that much is fine. And then we're just going to now neutralize it, bring the controls back to neutral like that. And think a little back pressure. So just I sort of just hold it from, just hold it from going down. It's perfect. That's a perfect turn. If you needed to turn toward that mountain, for example, over there, and you knew that's where the runway was that you wanted to head to. You just, the airplane, once it's in the bank, will basically stay in the bank. Cool, and so then when, when we get pointed to that mountain, just do what you did before. This time you're just gonna gently pick up her right wing. Go ahead and gently pick up the right wing. There you go, and you're back to that sort of, you know, when we won't say dancing, you're back to that sort of stroll you guys are doing together where you're just walking along and you're gently telling her where you want her to be. Will you show me a, just a turn to the left so it's going to be the same thing where you just gently let the, you know, push the left wing down just a little bit. That's great. We're going to keep it real shallow, so let's just say like that much, and then you would just neutralize it. And then just don't let her nose go down because she has to divide her lift now between space and left wing. Right? Beautiful. That's really, really good. Good. And if she starts going too much, like getting over anxious like a dog, just pick up that left wing. Use whatever strength you need to, to say, no, 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 that's too much. Part of the challenge here is that this is not a training airplane. It's very heavy, but it is the airplane Jenny would have to fly. Oftentimes when coming out of a turn, her tendency is going to be to climb because she was using extra lift to get through the turn. So just, you know, back to that, that walking along together kind of beautiful. Look at you. That's really great. So far, so good. The next step was to figure out if she could actually get control of the airplane. I mean, this is somebody that is naturally scared of being up there to begin with. So um, I wanted to kind of put her in some unusual attitudes and see if she could recognize what was happening, bring the wings back to level, control the airplane, and then begin flying those headings. I want you to recover. So I'm going to, um, it's not going to be extreme, but I'm going to put the airplane like this in a turn, like that with the nose kind of going down. And now I want you to grab the controls and fix it. Just pick up the right wing. Okay. And then remember all that extra lift when you come out of the turn, you have to stop that climb also. So pitch, you know, like make sure her nose stops on the horizon. Nice job. That's exactly what I wanted to see. 
Only it was time to go to a runway and figure out if she could hold an aiming point in the window and get her to actually slow the airplane down on a downline, which is not the easiest thing to do. Slowing down and going down together, uh, that's part of the trick, right? So she was doing great at that in a level pitch, but now it was time to see if she could do it while descending toward a runway. She did awesome. Good, you got it? All right, now I want you to reach down and pull up one notch of flaps there. I hate doing that because I can't. There you go, good, nice eyes, job. And remember, you control it. Whatever it tries to do, push forward. Push forward with your hand, good, like that. You're just gonna keep that, try to keep that mark where you have it on your runway. Perfect. 500. Just like that, you're doing great. Keep the mark in the window, good. We need one more notch of flaps like that. Excellent. Good. Perfect, keep the mark where it is, remember. She loves to dance, but she doesn't have to dance. Awesome, you're doing great. And keep that mark, keep your nose down for that mark. Good. Good. Just keep the nose down to keep that mark where it was. The mark's going away. Push forward. Push forward. Yeah, perfect. You're doing great. All right, I've got control. it. I got it. Oh, thank you. All right. <laughs> I got it. You did great. You did really great. Are you okay? <laughs> Oh, do we? <laughs> that was one. That was good. You're doing good. Okay. I did realize right about now in the process, though, that there's no way we're going to get her to land the airplane without more precise airspeed control. Um, she was doing awesome. She was feeling a lot more comfortable. But up until this point, we were speaking about it in pretty vague terms, you know, like the airplane is galloping or the airplane is trotting. Uh, what I need her to do before we land the airplane is fly very specific speeds. And I realized we're not going to get to it here in part one. Uh, the best thing we could do was start to sew this whole scenario together to see if she could pull off what we'd done so far. We've only been together for two days and we'll pick it up the next time when I go to Southern California. Bringing the whole picture together, right? I have to, I want to kind of role play it so she really feels like she's in that moment. I'm going to be Eric and I'm going to simulate passing out. I'm going to get her to recognize what's happening, get control of the airplane. Um, I had to teach her to use the radios. And then I'm gonna play the part of air traffic control as we simulate getting vectored to a runway where we do one last approach. We're gonna do the whole thing. The first thing is that you're going to uh, recover control of the airplane. Then you are going to say mayday, mayday, mayday. To, you're not actually gonna push the button, but you're, presumably we're talking to somebody. Uh, and then we'll take it from there, okay? okay. All right, so you and Eric are flying along. And you know, he just kind of like does one of these. I'll tell you when to take it, because maybe you don't know that things are bad yet. You really don't know that things are bad yet. Oh, Jesus Christ, Jason. You really don't know things are bad. Okay. I do. All right, you've got the airplane. Link wings level. Don't pull out of it. Roll out of it. There you go. Good. Yeah, always roll. When you roll, she'll naturally want to come up. The nose will naturally want to come up on its own. So do I trim it now, or I push her down? No, I push her down. Push it first, and then trim off any pressure so that you two are working in harmony. Now I'm going to call Mayday, Mayday, Mayday. You are. Okay, so Mayday, Mayday, Mayday. So someone would say, who's saying Mayday on the frequency? Just identify the aircraft calling Mayday. Uh, this is N631 Bravo Whiskey. 631 Bravo Whiskey, what's the nature of your emergency? Uh, my husband is, has, I don't know, something's happened to him, and I'm flying the airplane, but I'm not a pilot. 631 Bravo Whiskey, uh, confirm the pilot is incapacitated. Yes, sir, the pilot's incapacitated. I've got two children on board. Uh, 61 Bravo Whiskey, Roger. Uh, you know how to work the radios, ma'am. Yes, sir, I do. Uh, Roger, uh, please come up on my frequency of 121.5. We'll get you to an airport and we will help you get the airplane. Do you want me to actually dial that right Yeah, now? go ahead. 121 what? Say again. Uh, 631 Bravo Whiskey, it's 121.500, ma'am. Okay, so this blue box, so when you push this in, it selects that blue box go. around like that. So what you did by accident was push the box down here. Okay. So you need to push that two more times to get the box back. You go to the transponder, now you're back up there. Now you hit it, perfect. All right, 61 Bravo Whiskey, can you hear me now? 121.5. Yes, sir, I'm on 121.5. One, all right, I'm gonna try to take you over to uh, Lincoln Regional Airport. I want you to keep all your turns real gentle. Uh, we are going to turn left now. Make a left turn, please, to a heading of west. All right, so we're coming in here with our one fist of ground and wherever those white marks are in your window. And we need to slow down to about 80. 
Okay. So let's start by pulling the power yeah, back a little bit. Go back to like eight, maybe. Negative, headed over to McLeod. Just guessing at something. All right, good. And and normally, looking out the front, the nose would want to fall, but we're going to hold it right where we need it to be. Keep those white marks right where they are in the window. And that got us to, to about to the speed we wanted. Right, we're at 87. Right, and the problem is we're slowing down, right? So I need to pull the power up more. Yeah, just a little bit more. Add a little bit of power in. There you go, right about there. That's plenty. Good. And we're just holding those white marks where we need them to be. Right. Good. All right, we're still in that white band. Another way to slow down is to pull the next notch of flaps. So let's do that and feel what happens. See how push she wants to pitch that. up? So push forward with your right hand. Good, push forward with your right hand to keep those white marks right where you want them. Good, and trim it if you need to. Roll that wheel forward. Good, beautiful. Much better. All right, let me take the plane. Hey, that was really good. You feeling those connections a little bit? All right, good. Say I'm pretty blown away at how well she's doing here. I mean, again, that's like three times flying together. We got all the way through that full scenario. We didn't land this time, but we're pretty darn close. And you know, whether she likes it or not, she's good at it. So we're gonna pick that up again in another episode. I'm gonna go down to Southern California and you guys can see her actually land the airplane. Uh, but for now, I just want to say a huge thanks to Eric for that idea. It was super fun to work with him and Ginny and get to meet them both. Um, definitely go over and check out Eric's channel, SoCal Flying Monkey. Also, if you'd like to see some of the lessons, some of the kinds of lessons I'm working on with Ginny, uh, you can download the Ground School app at our website, learnthefinerpoints.com, and uh, you can do a free trial and kind of see all the video lessons we have in there. A lot of what you saw me teaching her, only more specifically, is all in the Ground School app, so definitely go check that out. A huge thanks to the sponsors for their support of this show and to the patrons. Without that support, all, this, all these videos, on this channel, the podcasts, uh, the Friday Live, none of that would be possible. So huge thanks to the patrons. Um, also, a huge thanks to you guys. Leave a comment. Let me know what you'd like to see us get to. Let me know how you think Ginny did. Hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel. Share far and wide with your friends. And most importantly, until next time, be safe and fly your best. <laughs>